the European Union, in partnership with the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, have launched the second edition of the Circular Economy competition to support Ghana's gradual transition to a circular economy. The Circular Economy Competition is a contest that helps small businesses and startups in the circular economy in Ghana to become feasible and to grow and to accelerate the transition to a greener circular economy. On average, each European generates about 480 kilograms of packaging waste every year. Uh, reuse and recycling. And also to foster the reuse or refilling of packaging, which has fallen off pretty steeply over the last 20 years, companies will have to offer a certain percentage of their product. The three rates of recycled content that the producers have to include in new packaging. Um, then moving on, because I realise I'm taking a little bit more time than I may have intended, uh, we have a policy framework on bioplastics. Um, Many plastics are used for fossil fuels, and if they're not properly managed at the end of their life, they can accumulate in the environment. And we've seen a lot of sort of plastics coming out that are bio-based or biodegradable, compostable, and these may be a more sustainable alternative to fossil-based. However, they present their own challenges because you really need to look carefully at what are the conditions under which they are biodegradable, for example. Fact-based recommendations on required policy interventions, and it aligns ongoing and emerging circular economy initiatives, such as the ones that I have talked about earlier, uh, implementation of the roadmap. When it is all said and done, we believe that we are going to have a policy framework that is based firmly on circularity. We are going to have a strong regulatory framework and enforcement regime. We are going to have a strong partnership with the private sector to establish standards based on which products will be designed to ensure that uh, they, are, uh, they are suitable for the circular economy framework. They are recyclable, they are reusable, and they don't end up in waste. And we are going to have a robust monitoring, evaluation, and reporting uh, system and the expected benefits if you are able to achieve all of this is to ensure that progress in pursuing a sustainable transition based on uh, circularity is achieved. Uh, it's going to establish a close transition partnership with the European Union, which is very, very important because, as the ambassador said, uh, Europe is a very, very a strong uh, trading partner of Ghana, and we are not going to uh, exist too well if Europe is working or using a separate economic model than what we are using. And so this is going to create a strong partnership between Ghana and the, uh, and the European Union so that our trading activities will increase, and this will yield benefits for both Europe and Ghana.
about consuming any goods, especially in Ghana, it's based on what we call a linear economy. It means that you extract, you consume, and you dispose. So it's true for bottles, it's true for plastic, it's true for cars, it's true for any textiles, anything. And this is not sustainable. It's not sustainable in Ghana, it's not sustainable in Africa, it's not sustainable in Europe. And we wanted to demonstrate together with many Ghanaians, members of the business community, civil society, entrepreneurs, that we can move to what we call a circular economy, where you use less, you reuse and recycle um, products in order to have a longer life, in order to alleviate the pressure of natural resources, which are depleting. So this is the main gist of this event, and of course this is based on policy which are implemented already by the Ghanaian government that means to alleviate the pressure on energy, to alleviate the pressure on natural resources and to uh, lower the waste load per capita every week. So this is what we want to do. Another event is the competition. We are here to detect and reward young entrepreneurs with brilliant ideas in terms of circular economy. Last year we have um, rewarded Entofarm, which is creating organic fertilizer, which is 30% less. The cost of organic fertilizers is 30% less than normal fertilizers. And this year I'm very impatient to see who will win. Already adopting an action plan on circular economy, which we are supporting to develop. It's in its final stage, so this is number one. Number two is funding, and the European Union is funding many activities which have the circular economy benefits in agriculture. The minister reminded agriculture was the key activity destroying natural habitat, and we have practices now developed scientifically which can overcome that. I've mentioned fertilizer, it's about seeds, it's about the way as well we consume and we reuse the waste of agriculture. So there are many things which are already ongoing that we are heavily funding, but more importantly we are supporting the efforts of the Ghanaian government in that. We are supporting entrepreneurs, we are supporting farmers, we are supporting fishers, we are supporting industry because it's every economic aspect which is impacting the natural resources and this is where we can together all make a difference. All right, he, what he was asking is what specific support would you need from the public in making sure this works? Besides what you are doing, what support do you need from the public? The public is the key target because behavior changes when your behavior, my behavior, everyone's behavior changes and this is an awareness reason event and we want to demonstrate that normal people, normal agriculture, normal fishers, so on and so forth can embark into something which is less costly. What we are doing is less costly than traditional agriculture which has a dividend at the level of community, it's more efficient and as mentioned it's uh, damaging less the environment. So. I think this is what we need is to embrace this change and this uh, behavior. It's creating jobs. This is creating jobs. This is less expensive than traditional way of working. And as uh, I said, the expansion base of the clients is growing further and further, so it will be um, self sustainable. <laughs> 
Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.